We buy gold to store wealth. We buy it to hold a physical asset in our hand, an asset we could use for our retirement, an asset that cannot be taken away from us, and an asset that we can leave to our kids when we're dead and gone. In this video, I'll show you the problem with that plan. It's a real problem, and I suggest you second guess your long-term goals. The past 24 hours has, for me, completely flipped gold on its head. Yes, less than 24 hours, and the goal plan changes forever. The first problem has been on the tip of everyone's tongue lately, or at least it should be, long-term performance lag. This should be on everyone's mind. It is a real problem with gold, and we're watching it play out today. Long-term performance lag. That is a real issue. Experts are telling us that the new hike in gold price, hovering at $2,000, that new hike is our baseline now. Ouch. That hurts for two reasons. First, it is far out of reach for all of us. And second, the theory of long-term performance lag tells us we should begin storing our wealth in silver instead of gold. The, the idea is this. Gold price fluctuates, but typically hovers around a specific baseline. And because of this fluctuation and hovering dynamic, gold has a tendency to lag in its appreciation. Let that sit in your mind for the next 24 hours and you'll be changing your goal plan. I'm telling you, Really think about it. Do not let inertia get in your way. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean by inertia, right? I, I mean, we all focus on the increase seen in the past 20 years. Yes, gold was selling at $400 per ounce 20 years ago, but the increase up to today's $2,000 was not a steady incline. It was not even a staircase. It actually remained quite stagnant during the financial crisis years. So really think about the impact of this long-term performance lag. There's, there's good and bad news to this issue. The bad news is it will be a long time before you get that Scrooge McDuck feeling of holding a pile of one ounce gold coins in your hand. That goal may need to be pushed back. Again, think about, uh, think about this for the next 24 hours and please leave me a comment. Let me know if you're ready to change your expectations from gold ounces to fractionals. There, there's good news. <laughs> there, there is. I, I don't really like half ounce gold because I've always struggled with my own Scrooge tendencies. <laughs> I'm just I'm just like you. If if you've been watching my channel, then you know. I'm not excited about the half ounce American gold liberties, but I do enjoy the gold sovereigns, particularly the St. George and the Dragon. I love that. So if I need to change my plan, step away from the one ounce gold, I'd be happy to move it into gold sovereigns. And I don't think today's FOMO is impacting the supply of sovereigns. I read all your comments and I see that everyone is experiencing the same struggle. The fear of missing out is bringing thousands of new people into the gold market, and this drains the supply of local retailers. This is a game changer for many of us. Look, if, if you are able to set aside a specific amount of money every month and you're persistent, <laughs> I know, look at me telling people to control their impulses. If, if you can control your impulses, not like me, if you can control your impulses, then sure, with a bit of patience, you'll start to build your stack of gold and this certainly will help plans for retirement, plans for inheritance. But the influx of new buyers, thousands of new buyers into the present gold market will result in higher premiums. We see it time and again. It's the response to sudden increase in demand. And sure, we love to ignore the increase in premiums, but that is a cost we need to consider for this long-term investment. Hey, be, be smarter than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Be smarter than me. Only buy gold bars. That's it. Stay away from American gold eagles and choose the lowest premium gold. It's it's always in the form of bars. But I know, I know you're just like me and you want to hold the pretty shiny coins in your hand. It is the devil's work. It is. Now, I, I've been thinking about our lifetime goals for accumulating gold lately. And yes, the long-term performance lag is a real issue. Honestly, I'm surprised more people are not talking about it. I think this brings up the importance of diversifying our investments. Yes, we love to hold our physical assets in our hands. If it's not gold, then it's real estate. I came across something and it made me think of all the comments regarding retirement and inheritance. This got me excited for two reasons. First, this company found silver. Stop. I'm, I'm explaining this wrong. They were not even looking for silver and they found it. That's always the best scenario. But before I talk about this, just know that if you've been watching my channel, 
then you know that I'm not one of these YouTubers that post doomsday videos telling you that the world's financial institutions are going to collapse and the world as we know it is coming to an end. So you better get out there and buy your gold, buy your silver, buy your bullets. That is not the type of videos that I'm interested in. And I don't post videos to frighten people into buying precious metals. If you've been watching my channel, then you know that I talk about gold and silver as a store of wealth, a hedge against inflation, and a long-term investment that will show me gains over a period of 20 years. I also talk about ways to diversify our investments. Yes, this channel is called Pound of Gold, but I don't recommend that everybody put all their money into gold. I often talk about other tangible assets like real estate and other forms of investment that I see offering me a strong ROI. That's what we all want, a strong return on investment. The, the way to do this is to look at the world stage when determining a smart investment. You've heard me talk about U.S. and China relations. The dominant issue between the U.S. and China has been semiconductors and the metals required for us to create more electric vehicles. That's where the money is right now. That's where it is. Presently, China corners the market for lithium. That metal we need to meet the 2035 goal, right? 2035, that, that's a magic year that every country is aiming to move away from gas-powered cars and into electric vehicles. This is where a new company is about to make a lot of money and I'm jumping in. I suggest you guys take a look at this. The U.S. has only one lithium mine, period. <laughs> I know when, when I realize this and I, and I say it out loud, it really shocks me. That's it, one. China and Russia could, could shut down our supply with ease. Our car companies are scrambling to get their hands on lithium. We're living in the rush for lithium. Everyone is desperate to get their hands on it. Insteps FE Battery Metals Corporation, I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in diversifying your investments, and I know you are, you're going to want to check out FE Battery Metals. That's their ticker on the screen, F-E-M-F-F. -F. These guys are doing exactly what I would do. They're mining for lithium, and as you know, you've heard me say this before, the time to get in on these companies is when they're starting to mine. Once they hit lithium and announce their drilling results, the price will skyrocket. That's why I'm so excited to talk about this company because this is the perfect opportunity to jump in. I'm jumping in and at, as you've seen on my channel, I love talking about fresh new mining companies that are just starting to drill. The stock prices are low because this is the time to, the time to jump. Look, at, at the time of this recording, their stock price is 38 cents. You pick up a few, what, it's a couple of bucks? I, so yes, I read all your comments, all your emails, and I, I do appreciate the emails thanking me for giving this type of advice, but really the thanks is to you because you're doing your due diligence of researching companies like this and knowing when to jump in. Gold, silver, lithium, the time to jump in on these companies is when they are starting to drill. You want to get in on this before they announce the results because presently the stock price is so low. And that's why I'm, that's why I'm investing now. now FE Battery Metals is a small market cap company and they're doing everything right. My secret to success for me has always been to look at someone else's success and learn from how they do things right. FE Battery Metals bought land next to the key lithium mining territory in Canada. They know there's lithium there. The mines are already successful. This company has, been, has bought land close to the successful mines and they, they're drilling and drilling and drilling. I'm excited about this because the demand for lithium is intense. The race is on and drilling in the area that they're drilling in is absolutely genius. They also have the infrastructure needed to process the lithium. They, they don't need to outsource and process. It's all done in-house. Look, the, the United States has one lithium mine and we've been told daily about this plan for electric vehicle rollout in 2035. Everyone's scrambling to get this metal. While drilling for lithium, FE battery metals struck, they struck silver. Yes, you heard that right. They struck silver. I know, I know. <laughs> you would stop right there and cash out the silver. And to tell you too, that is where I first heard about this company. I heard about the lithium mine that struck silver in Canada. The, the more I researched this company, that's when I realized, wow, I'm, I'm jumping in. WEF, the World Economic Forum, their plan is to move this planet away from fossil fuels. This is happening. It's not just in America. This is happening on this planet. And the rush is on for lithium. Think about all the minerals needed to make an electric car. We, we need copper, we need cobalt, we need lithium. This is the new rush for metals previously left behind. Again, their, their stock ticker is FEMFF. As I record this video, the stock is sharing at 38 cents per ounce. The land where they're drilling is owned by FE Battery Metals, and it's in Landrian and Landcorn Townships in Quebec, Canada. The company has been able to acquire 27,000 hectares of ground in the lithium district. Whew! 
they have all the infrastructure, roads, railway, manpower, available to process the lithium. It's, it's all done in-house. Check out this company. You, you can tell I'm very excited about it, and you know that I love jumping in when the drilling starts. This is the time to do it before drill findings are announced. I've included the links to FE Battery Metals website in the description. Check them out, and I'll see you on the next video.